Did you know that your menstrual cycle gives you clues to your reproductive health? That's right, it sure does. So in this video, we are gonna dive in to the fascinating world of your menstrual cycle. So come on, let's go. And welcome to the Fertility Godmother Show, where we discuss all things fertility. Hi, I'm Denise Noyer Arez. I'm your host and I'm your fertility godmother. And if we haven't met yet, I'm a Chinese medical physician and a nutritionist by profession and an expert fertility, health, and life coach by trade. And what that means is I help couples that want to do everything they can to get pregnant, optimize their health and fertility so that they can get pregnant, stay pregnant, and have a healthy baby. And today, in this video, I want to share with you about your menstrual cycle and how important it is to give you clues about your fertility. Now, you probably know that your menstrual cycle is supposed to come every month around 26 to 30 days, ideally. Now, everyone's menstrual cycle is different. Some people have really long periods, some women have short periods. But ideally, in order to get pregnant, we want to have a menstrual cycle where you start bleeding every 26 to 28 or 30 days. If it's shorter than 26 days, it makes it a little bit more challenging to get pregnant. And if it's longer than 30 days, it can also make it a little bit more challenging to get pregnant. The way I like to look at a menstrual cycle is that it has four phases. It has your period phase, your follicular phase, your ovulation phase, and your luteal phase phase, your luteal phase phase. And so today we're gonna to take a deep dive into the first phase, which is your period. And yes, your period is part of the follicular phase, but it gives us different messages in itself. And there's a lot of other things going on because when you have your period every month, it's your body preparing to have a healthy pregnancy. And so we wanna make sure that you have enough blood, that you have fresh, healthy blood, you're getting good circulation, and that you're bleeding enough. So some things to look for for a healthy menstrual cycle is that you're bleeding around four days. So cycle day one starts when you're bleeding. So some women spot for a couple days or even a couple weeks before. And if that's the case, that's a clue that there's something off in our body. So we want to be able to start your period pretty quickly. And if you spot a little bit before, that can be normal. But if it's longer, if it's a couple days or even a couple weeks, definitely something that we want to dive deeper into to make sure that there's nothing going on, any cysts, polyps, fibroids, or other hormonal imbalances that can be going on if you're spotting before your cycle. The other thing we want to look at is the color of the blood. Period blood should ideally be like a nice bright red. So if it's pinkish or orange or purple and dark, or black, then that gives us clues that you're not getting enough nutrition and circulation to the reproductive area. So we wanna make sure that we are getting good circulation because we have to nourish, nurture and nourish our uterine environment so that we can optimize the chances of implantation, but also we have to nourish the embryos. We have to have fresh nourishing blood that circulates through so that it can grow into a healthy baby. If there's spotting after your menstrual cycle, a little bit of spotting is okay, but it, ideally it should stop. And if the color changes to a little bit of a brown at the end, that's also okay. But if it's during and before, we want to make sure that we improve some circulation there. Another insight is you should not be having pain. There's a lot going on in your body during a menstrual cycle. So you might have some sensations, you might have a slight discomfort or and pressure, or maybe a little bit of bloating but if you have to take medication, if you have to have a hot pack so that you can get through the day, if you are lying down all the time because you can't function, you don't need to live with that. There's something going on that we can correct through diet, through supplements, through herbs, through acupuncture, some way we can help balance your hormones so that you don't have to have that. And the last thing I want to share with you about your menstrual cycle is your moods. So some people get really moody or really emotional and it's a sign that their period is coming. So if it lasts for a couple hours, that's probably okay. Your body's shifting, there's a lot going on. Maybe you feel a little bit tired before, that's okay. But again, if it is lasting weeks, it is not normal to have PMS or PMDD 
for that long. Again, we shouldn't have pain and the emotions shouldn't be completely up and down. There's something going on in your body that needs to be balanced. So that is a clue for you. So I hope you found this video helpful so that you could understand what a healthy menstrual cycle looks like. A quick recap is ideally a full menstrual cycle should be around 26 to 30 days in length. We should bleed around four days plus or minus. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. We want to bleed about four days and actually we want to change our pad or if you're wearing a tampon, please make sure that it's organic and doesn't have all those chemicals in there. There's so many other options besides pads and tampons. You can do the, the silicone cup or you can do, they have special underwear for you. The third thing is we wanna make sure that you're not having a lot of pain because that should not be the case. And the last thing is if you're having severe mood swings or an emotional imbalances before your menstrual cycle or maybe you're even getting super tired, we need to figure out what's going on because you don't have to live with that. And all those things give you great insight to your reproductive health. On the next episode, we'll be diving into the follicular phase in depth so you can really get an understanding of that second phase of your menstrual cycle. And I even created an amazing gift for you. If you would like to get more insight about what your body's telling you, click the link below and share with me what was your biggest aha from today's video. Make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss any other episodes. And until next time, I'm Denise Neuer-Arez, your fertility godmother, wishing you a healthy, happy pregnancy.